Up to now, we've been displaying game properties in the debug area. But if I start the standalone player, the debug area is not displayed. We need to use dynamic text, text that changes during gameplay, to display the time and the score. Open the file from the previous tutorial in which I showed how to add a timer and a win scene. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Click the plus to open up the properties. Scroll down and open up the display panel. Now the shading is not set to GLSL which is the best option for the game engine. Drag to close the properties. Change the layout to default. Add text. Set the Z location of the text to 0.2. Now that puts the text at the same location as the board. I'm going to click the right arrow to make the location 0.21 to make sure the text is slightly above the board. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the text across and the tip of the green arrow to move it down. Click parent and make the board the parent of the text. Change the layout back to game logic. I'm going to use a Python script to change the text while the game is playing. I'm going to use a template to start the script. Templates, Python, game logic simple. I don't need the lines in the middle, so I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to rename the script text score add an always sensor and a Python controller connect the Python controller to text score and connect those up with the cursor in the text editor window press the tab key and type own dot text now this line gets the current controller, which is the Python controller. This line gets the owner of the controller, which is the text object. And all text objects have a property text. Own text, set equal to, and I'm going to go to the update script and copy the global dictionary score. Right click, copy back to the text script, right click paste. The property text is of type string, it stores a string of characters. The property score is of type integer, it stores a number. Python will not automatically convert the number to a string of characters. We have to use a built-in Python function and that will do the conversion. If I start the game and score five points, it's fairly obvious that the number in the corner is the score. But if I want to make it completely obvious by adding a label, we do that by putting the label in quotes and using plus to concatenate add the two strings together. Next, add text to display the time. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the text up. Press R to rotate, X for the x-axis, 90 and enter. Highlight the script, right click copy. Click the add new text block button, right click and paste. Change the name of the script to texttime.py. Change the name of the label to time. Change the name of the property to timer. Add an always sensor and a Python controller. Link the controller to the text time script and connect those up. Start the game engine 
and the script doesn't work. This script needs the always sensor put into pulse mode to work. Now it works but we have another problem with far too many decimal places. To solve the problem I'm going to change the way the number is turned into a string. Inside the quote I'm going to put percent %f and the percent %f will be replaced by the float number that follows. The syntax is to put another percent sign followed by the number Now if I start that, it works, but we still have too many decimal places. Using this method, I can put format information in between the percent and the F. If I put 4.1, it means a minimum field width of 4 characters and a precision of 1 decimal place. If I start that, we see that it works. This gives the time elapsed, but I want to give the time remaining. The player is given 30 seconds to reach the target, so I'm going to change this in brackets. I'm going to put 30 minus the time, and at the end, put a closing bracket. Now if we start the game engine, we get a countdown. We now no longer need to show the debug properties. That can be turned off in the game menu. I'm going to use the tip of the red arrow to move the text to the left a bit. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.